hello students we are about to end chapter 20 triangle cities however you can notice that question number 8 9 and 10 are left now to in order to solve those questions 8 9 and 10 you need to learn the properties of isosceles triangles once you learn these two properties of isosceles triangles that i am going to discuss now then only you can try to solve question number 8 9 and 10 so let us first learn these two properties the first one is i have to take an isosceles triangle so if i take an isosceles triangle here abc and what happens in an isosceles triangle in an isosceles triangle two sides are equal now if i draw this triangle like this this angle is normally called the vertical angle all right that's the first concept you need to learn it will be called the vertical angle and after that let us assume that these two sides are equal so which two sides i have taken equal ab is equal to ac right so two sides are equal and they are ab and ac so if ab and ac are equal then their opposite angles are equal now listen to me very carefully if the two sides are equal then their opposite angles are equal so what is the opposite angle of side ab this one if you look at the opposite side angle c and what is the opposite angle of side ac this one to look at the opposite side that is angle b so if ab is equal to ac then you will have angle b is equal to angle c also all right so this is a very important property if any two sides are equal then their opposite angles are also equal now what is more interesting is that suppose you are being given this one let's say this is given you know that angle b is equal to angle c then the opposite sides are also equal that means the ulta that means the converse converse means the reverse right the converse is also true so what we have learned we have learned that if two op sides of an isosceles triangle are equal their opposite angles are equal if the two opposite angles of a triangle are equal then their opposite sides are equal that means it is an isosceles triangle right let me sum it up for you so that you understand it the simple terms if i take an isosceles triangle abc a is a vertical angle and let us say a b and b c are equal so which two angles will be equal what is the opposite of a b angle c and what is opposite of b c angle a so your angle c will be equal to angle a right and let us also take the second condition let's say you are being given simply let's say you are giving given or uh, angle a is equal to angle b so let's say angle a is equal to angle b it is given now which two sides will be equal what is the opposite of a b c and what is the opposite of b a c so you'll have b c equal to a c in this case all right so once you know these two properties you can now solve question number 8 9 and 10 in the next video i shall discuss those questions so let's meet in the next video